Hello everyone, welcome to In the Black. This is a multiplayer space combat simulator that is currently in early access. It is not available on Steam yet. It is available as a beta from the In the Black website, intheblack.gg, which I'll also link in the video description. I was provided the key from the developers because I guess they figured I had some interest in space things. And it was a very interesting experience. This is the intro sequence right now. And uh, I do do one mission. And it it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Even though I have some background in space maneuvering and stuff like that, uh, it is very challenging. And I'll explain why in a bit. But fundamentally, this is a realistic space combat simulator. So the propulsion is, well, you have to manage your thrust appropriately. And we do have joystick control. And so you see me configuring the throttle and joystick here. My throttle didn't work very well, but it's finicky with a lot of things. I've got a separate throttle and joystick. The th throttle is a SciTech throttle. The joystick worked fine. And if I used the throttle and the joystick, it probably would have worked fine too. Uh, and they have all the settings, including the curves uh, that you can adjust and the dead zones. So, yep, all very good on that front. But again, I have to emphasize this is an early access game, and so there will be issues. But please be prepared for that. If you sign up for the beta, you are testing something. Uh, so this is the tutorial bit where they tell you about the prograde vector and the retrograde vector. And these are surprisingly important in this case. Uh, they have you shoot at little targets, uh, target things, and you can shoot at things that you're not pointed directly at, uh, very important. And then we have contracts, uh, blood sport, which is like, uh, uh, I think, uh, battle royale kind of situation. And so I take up one of these contracts and see how it goes. There's a debris sweep, there's a bunch of debris headed for a station, and I need to intercept the debris and shoot it. And it seems simple, uh, but actually I'm used to doing maneuvers in space very deliberately and thinking about for a substantial period of time in Kerbal Target Space Program. Uh, and this is not like that. We've, we've got to rendezvous basically with a whole bunch of different objects. And they're mostly in line as you can see, those are the debris pieces. But yeah, as it turns out when you're doing it very quickly in a combat situation, it's harder to wrap your head around all the vectors going on and like not crashing into stations. We also have limited Target propellant, locked. we have limited ammunition, Target and locked. that also was a concern as I was doing this. So I did shoot some of them, but then all the others, I, I overshot Target them because locked. it'd be easier if we were launching out of the station and head towards them so they were all in a row, Target all in, right in front of us, but we were actually launching from a ship off to the side, and as a result, when we're intercepting them, I just sort of crossed their path and went past, and that just made a whole mess. Um, so yeah, you, you have to, you turn around and you're still moving in the direction you were going in, and you have to burn off all of that speed, and you have to worry about the fuel that you have. And it takes time, and all this debris is still headed towards uh, the thing that you're trying to protect. Now, when you think about this situation, and then we, we're going to have a multiplayer space combat sim, and then everybody's got to be maneuvering like this, it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> so I am intrigued by the possibilities here. The background for the game is that there are five corporations that are vying for control of Soul System, and we've got these nuclear-powered vessels that are doing combat on their behalf. I would assume that means five different ship lines and stuff like that, similar to other Target games of locked. this sort. Uh, I'm thinking of like World of Warships or War Thunder or something like that. And you make your money and you buy new ships and stuff like that, better ships and better planes in those cases, or in this case, better spaceships. Now in those other online multiplayer games where you have this sort of arena and you're doing these things, the Attraction is the historicity of those ships and planes. I'm not too sure how that works out here. Uh, we have to have some sort of mm, interest in these particular vehicles that is beyond just getting a better one, potentially. I don't know. I don't know how to entice players to do something, so uh, I'll set that aside for now. Uh, but yeah, as far as what there is to learn from this, I think there's actually a lot to learn from this. Uh, it is a different experience than any space combat game that I've seen. 
and I didn't realize how bad I would be at it. So, uh, yeah, I will have to get some more practice at learning how to maneuver on the fly in a combat situation in space, as opposed to carefully adjusting maneuver nodes in Kerbal Space Program to rendezvous with your target, and probably getting a mental picture of how this is all supposed to work will help me out in other scenarios as well. As you can see, the debris is definitely headed towards the station, and I have not done this properly. And probably if I keep trying to shoot like that, I'm going to be shooting at the station. But they have already hit the station, and desperately trying to get them, I'm actually going to collide with the station if I don't thrust in a perpendicular direction soon, or I could just thrust reverse. Target. But uh, yeah, I think I managed that, and it gave me a warning in time. But yeah, there's all this debris though. <laughs> Now I did Locked. notice some minor bugs uh, while doing the tutorial. If you try and bring up the menu Target. to adjust Locked. your controller while doing the tutorial, it doesn't seem to like that. So so Target. there will be bugs. I, I don't know what the roadmap is or where in development we are at right now. Target. I just Locked. received the game and uh, they seemed interested in me uh, trying it out, so I tried it out. And I certainly have a lot to learn about space combat in a realistic setting. I'm way too used to the way that space combat normally works in games where you just fly at things as if you're a plane. Well, I mean, with minor adjustments, you know, sometimes they give a little bit of inertia or stuff like that, but mostly you're just flying straight at things and you're pretending you're a plane. But anyway, so that is in the black and with that i'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time